So, welcome to the Beetle Garage. Today, Alla Marina di Cotoma, Duno Bosonus. We want to check the pupas that have been here since the 1st of April. Now it's 6 of May, one month later. I think they should be here now. Let's have a look what they do. You remember we put them in these uh, peat pots. I think that's a good method for them. Whoa, there's one. <laughs> it's exactly, that's a little bit too early to take him out. He is exactly in the face where he comes out of the purple skin. So let's see whether we can throw that a little bit clearer here. You see it? Here on the back he still has the the skin of the of the pupa but here on the pronotum already the horn is here a little bit so we can take it off and then he has to spread the wings afterwards and um, yeah finish the development so that's not yet finished here he's just on the way doing it so we leave him like this and don't disturb him anymore so this is for the next day, for tomorrow, probably he will be ready or in two days. As you know, they are not active right from the moment they come out of the pupil skin. They stay there sometimes for a week, sometimes for much longer until they are mature and can mate with a female. Let's see what is here. So we also see the skin of a beetle here. And let's see what happened to this one here. Ah, this is also not yet completely finished, I think. Let's see. Oh, yes, it's finished. Yeah, okay, so we can open it here. Ta da! Now, here it is. Voila! That's a freshly closed male, a small one. It's not a big monster. And you see the, the hind legs. They are uh, pointing upwards now. That's a sign that the development and the enclosure is not yet completely finished. So he will take some more time to complete his eclosion. Also, he has some wrinkles on the elytras here. So that shows that there were some slight problems while eclosing. But it's a nice male, so we can use him. Also, because I think we have some more females that we have to check. And this is the box where I originally placed them together. And now I will have a look what they do and how many they are. And then I will prepare uh, egg laying boxes for them. So that I put pairs into boxes for the laying of the eggs. I have to pay attention that I don't throw some out here. Sometimes they... Uh, all the beetle jellies are empty, you see that here? So they have eaten a lot, so they are active now. And I hope that they have already made it, because I think there were all also some males in here, so let's see. I mean, yes, this is a male here. This one here is a male, this is, seems to be a female, but yeah, yeah. And let's see whether we find some more here. And then I think I I group them in pairs so that later on... Voila, this is a nice female here. Big one, this is a really big female, this is a male, a nice one. So this could be the first pair that we want to put into one box and also I cover them a little bit so that they don't crawl away right away and then we have a look here what's that that's also a male a female no that's a female something's coming out of the back of the female probably she was in the stage of egg laying Oh, and this is, here's a small male here. I think we can put them together also. I will have to find another box for them. So we have a second pair here. This male and this female here. Now we have a second pair. 
and then we go through and see whether we have some more here. No. The material also, this one, is very good for egg laying. I probably, ah, here is already an egg, you see that? Wow. Yes, look, we have to be careful that we don't destroy the eggs that have been already laid. So let's see it on the, onto the lines here. So that's a, an egg of Holomurino, Dichotomo, Tsunobo, so on. They are um, pretty long, oval shaped. So this one is around three to four millimeters. And of course you should pay attention very much that you do let them dry out. So I put this egg in here and I probably take all the eggs out that I can find here. Let's see whether we have some more. So that's a good sign. It's a sign that they have made it already. So probably if we find some more. Let's check this here. Although of course we can oops, we can use this this substrate here because it seems to be a good substrate. So what we have here, that's another female. That's also another female. So but you know we have two males. We have two males in in here. So we put the female together with this male and make also some uh, egg laying boxes for them. So that's one of the egg laying boxes I have prepared already. This uh, for me this is ready to place the male and female. I have a nice white rotten piece of wood. It should uh, motivate them lay their eggs. Also I make this uh, pretty wet. I add a lot of beetle jellies here so that they can go on eating and drinking. The, the substrate is quite wet here I know from my testing. Also you can check the humidity of the substrate by the weight of the box. If it's a heavy box like this, so it's more than 10 kilograms, you know there's enough water in the substrate for the beetles. You don't have to um, think about adding much more water. Only sometimes on the surface it's nice for them that it's a little bit wet here. And then, let's do that, do that here. We put them in, the lady. I put her on a beetle jelly, probably she's starting to eat here. And also the male we have here. And also for uh, these beetles, because also they have a little bit higher um, piece of wood in here, so I close them like this with a bigger leaf. And that's all. And then is the next pair ready. I will see whether I can show this also to you. What I do with them. This is one that I already prepared. I can add some other substrate now on the top. On the bottom I have a really fine mixture. Uh, probably this is not a uh, wet enough so I can add some more water here because the substrate should be wet and stick together well but not dripping wet so there is no water coming out if you press it like this that seems to be a nice substrate for them yes it's like this yeah that's a good one and that's the bottom layer where it can be a little bit compressed and then on the top you can also use some uh, some leaf material like this or what they like a lot some white rotten wood 
pieces, also in the substrate. They, they love it very much if they find that the substrate is filled with white rotten wood pieces. And then we have this leftover of the substrate here um, with the two more ladies in it. So we just have to just first take out the lady. And also here we have already some eggs probably because we have seen one in there. So now let's see whether we have, here's a lady. And then what I do, I put one of the males in here, the one that is practically finished. And one of the females here. Or I can also put both of them here. There are three already here. Okay, so we have to take one out like this, or two, and left one we leave in here. Some water. Yeah. A nice white rotten block of wood. And then we can put the other the other male that is still waiting here together with the other two females into this box and we hope that also they lay a lot of eggs and um, if you stay tuned to this channel in three months you will come back and search through the substrate and look whether they have produced some eggs here. Thanks for watching.